sneak peek into Xega Security Cam XG07. <laughs> This is a nice little package, um, it comes with an app, it's a fully remote camera, it doesn't need a consistent access to a power supply. A um, couple of quick features, here it's, a, it's waterproof, it comes with the solar panel, it has a, a memory card slot, but it can also be subscribed to a, a cloud storage. It's a color night vision and the infrared vision. Uh, it has a detection, notifications, two-way audio, um, talk and speech and so on, and then uh, you can control it horizontally and vertically. So let's have a look what's inside. So inside we have a quite bulky but very well detailed instruction manual that tells you everything um, about every feature, how to configure it and how to set it up. It takes about five minutes to get it up and running, which is, which is pretty good because you don't want to be spending too much time on figuring out how to get it done. You just want to get into the meat. Now, just because you can mount it pretty much anywhere and it's either, I'm um, sorry, it's both the, um, the solar panel and the camera, you get the guidance for your drill. Um, it's a SIM operated um, camera, so it comes with a, a preloaded 300 megabytes SIM card, works with the majority of the UK network providers. And uh, yeah, and it can get you going right from the get go. And another little instruction manual, so it tells you all about the slots, power buttons, resets and so on, and the best angles to get it positioned when installing it. Now in here we have the solar panel. Now the solar panel is about 20 to 25 or 30 centimeters. Um, it's very well built, it's sturdy, uh, everything is made of the hard plastic. Um, when you look at the edges of the solar panel, you can tell that it's all if it's, um, very nicely glued together. So um, it's, it's rated IP66. So you want that because you don't want your solar panel to get damaged because as soon as it runs out of the battery, your camera will stop recording. And it looks really good. It comes with a good length of the cable as well. So if you are touching your camera either out of the view because you want to hide it, but you just still want the direct light on your um, on your solar panel, then you have quite um, good length of the cable to get it positioned in the area where you can catch that um, catch that light. And uh, yeah, and you have uh, two uh, sc uh, screw slots, so you can get it attached to the actual wall mount. Now let's move it further. So this is the attachment for the camera. Um, so you can attach it to the wall with a couple of screws on the side so you can easily get it in and out if you want to reposition and so on. Very handy, sturdy, um, uh, simple, simple in design and it will do the job. Um, tweezers, I'm not really sure what the tweezers are for, maybe the taking out the SIM card or just maybe to do your eyebrows. I don't know, you guys decide. We have another uh, mount. This is for the solar panel, like I mentioned. It comes with the screws. It's made of uh, metal. Um, it is simple. It doesn't look anything particularly interesting, but it's just there to get your um, solar panel position. And you can um, position that in a, um, you know, up and down and, um, and turn it all around just to get that right spot. Couple of screws to mount the camera and the uh, USB-A to USB-C cable. Uh, I believe you can still continuously charge it, whether that's power bank or you do have access to a power, you can get it going with the USB plug. And here we have the main component, the camera itself. Right, so this is a pretty big unit. Um, it's white in color. I don't know, I, I feel like the cameras should be made uh, for the outdoor purposes black because they're gonna get very dirty and you know aesthetically if you care it will bother you but otherwise it's a good product it's a solid nearly one piece product there isn't anything that will allow the water to leak inside so if it's pouring downwards or on the side there isn't anything that the water could actually get into if you position this um, camera somewhere far away from a power source or from your house, like a barn or maybe somewhere in the shed or maybe even attaching it to the to the tree, you want this to have a sufficient um, um, signal strength to to connect through the same through the mobile network to your phone, to your app. And so you can get the direct feed and control it or receive the notifications and so on. So this is pretty good. The two antennas should cover 
um, what you need. Now on the back, like I said, this would be the attachments for uh, here for the wall and then on the side you'll be attaching it with the number of other screws just to get it um, positioned. On the bottom of the camera we have a rubberized slot. There's one little um, um, slot in here that's for the power. Like I said, you probably um, can connect it and continuously charge it. I haven't tried it yet, but that's what I presume it is. And then if you take the whole bit out, you have the LED and you have on and off switch. So the rubber stays in place really well. It covers all the areas. It's it quite not difficult, but it's um, you need to put some strength into it to um, get it inside. So that's really good. Like I said, for the weather conditions, you want this to be protected at all the time, at all times. Now, when you look at the, the head, so when you turn it, you can feel the resistance on the motor that is holding it really good. There is no slack here. Um, so when you're controlling it, it should be pretty precise with your movements and so on, as well as, uh, as, well as the actual head. So this is 355 degrees vertically, and then, sorry, 355 degrees horizontally and 90 degrees uh, vertically. What else we have here? This is the speaker on the back. We have another rubberized slot over here. So if you open that up, you can see that this is the memory TF card slot and we have a SIM card slot and then the reset button. And again, to put it in, it's not difficult, but it's definitely resisting. So once it's in, it's gonna stay there and it's gonna be protecting your camera and all the electrical components inside from the rain um, or other weather conditions. Now in here, we have a set of lights, infrared, the camera, microphone, and the motion sensor. So overall, this camera unit is um, quite big. It's sturdy, it's well built. It's majority of a one piece in the most important top parts of the camera. Um, it's um, smooth um, and I, like, I quite like it. It feels like a very good product to have, especially if you want to have it connected remotely and have access to the feed. When you get an application called Ubox, um, it's when you're setting it up, it gives you a number of different options for Wi-Fi and and a, a mobile network. I tried the Wi-Fi, it does not pick up the Wi-Fi at all. So um, you only go with the 3G, 4G LTE network. It has an infrared and colored night vision. I think this is really interesting because normally you see in the black and white, if you wanna apply some colors and have that extra depth and extra detail on your camera, you can apply that and it does it pretty well. It's not ex excellent and amazing, but it does what, it says out of the box and it's IP66 waterproof rated. Now, the only downside for this is that it doesn't have auto tracking. So once you get notification that something has been spotted and then the camera sends you a notification to your app, you can then manually trace and track um, um, the object. Now, for the application itself, very simple, uh, very nice, very easy to set up. And uh, I have also looked at the privacy statements that they have on the application. And uh, the information they collect is a kind of like a account profile. So username, password, and your email. These are the voluntary given information because you purchased the camera, you need that app. Device info, like uh, IP, MAC address, operation system, and Wi-Fi details. Uh, usage data, clicks, visit, and messages, and then location. So yeah, um, I think in terms of the product, in terms of the app usability and the feeds, um, and the, the kind of the features that the camera has. It's an excellent product. It costs around 100 quid at the moment. Sega makes uh, cameras for years. Hit that like and subscribe button if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one.